Hello Die Hat Collectors. Today we're going to have an in-depth discussion about Comic Market, also known as Comic Kit over in Japan. This is a major convention that's held biannually, which means it happens twice a year, usually a winter and a summer theme. It's held over in Tokyo, Japan, over at the Tokyo Big Sites convention. This is one of their largest convention centers in the area. It was actually intended for the Tokyo International uh, Olympics back in, I believe, 1990s. But this comic is, like I said, a biannual, so every year you'll see two of them. For example, we have here Comic Market 83, Comic Market 84, and Comic Market 97. 83 took place on 2012, December 29th, 30th, and the 31st. 84 took place in August of 2013 on the 10th, 11th, and 12th. And 97 took place on 2019, December 28th, 29th, 30th, and 31. Most of you may have seen this convention in animes, photos, uh, but this convention center, it looks like four pyramids that are upside down with four columns. And that is the Tokyo Big Site. Now, Comic Market, it is mostly for doujinshi artists, but a lot of artists in the industry like to attend and show off their other stuff. Many famous dot hack artists are also in attendance, such as Rei Izumi, who is known for the cover of dot hack Legend of the Twilight, and also the uh, manga itself. But industry leaders, such as CC2, have been in attendance at some of these conventions. They were in attendance at 83. This is a catalog. And the catalog is about as big and as heavy as the North American Yellow Pages were back before the 21st century. The paper material used is similar to that of the uh, magazines, like some kind of recycled paper. But anyway, so I have here bookmarked in the industry section. So this is the industry section of the catalog. And right here, we see that the CC2 store was in attendance and two of their comic market items for sale were these two lucky bags. Now, a lucky bag is basically just a little paper tote with several different goodies. For Comic 83, we had this Haseo tumbler. We had this Makoto plush. There was the Kite headphone jack, the short little art book titled Dot Hack 2012 Comic Market 83 Special Edition Liberation of the Brain. and various inserts to replace the stock Haseo tumbler insert. Meaning that this is a paper image that you can just swap out for two other options. And we'll go into details of each of these items later, but I just want to go over the different comic markets. Here we have CC2chan. Now CC2chan was a mascot character for the PS3 game 
dot hack, or I'm sorry, hyper dimension Neptunia. And inside, it had this little art book here called 2012 Cyber Connect Chan Happy Birthday Book. But also, this little microfiber cloth. And a keychain. And there was a mug, but my order did not come with the mug. So for Comic Market 84, we have this. Now this was the Daily Erosion Pack. Had the paper bag. It was the first time that we had the Chim Chim Plush from Dahak GU. This is the original that has the GU logo on it, not the 15th anniversary edition. It also had an earphone jack of a Chim Chim. It had a little thank you leaflet from Hiroshi Matsuyama, the president and CEO of CyberConnect 2. There is a muffler. Now a muffler, it's like a towel material, but it's not a towel, it's too small for that. It's mostly like a scarf. But again, the theme was supposed to be based off of summer. And there was a umbrella that opens up and the design is this little hexagon pattern you see here. Here's what the uh, pattern looks like on the um, umbrella. Now, I don't actually have anything from Comic Market 97's dot .hack um, sales. I have a few items that they were advertising. Now, this one, unlike these two, had specific little lucky bags. They kind of did have a lucky bag, but it was mostly a celebration of other previous items, such as these little buttons you see here for their 15th anniversary that was leading up to the release of .hack GU last recode. The fan books were part of the set. This is volume two of four. Just bunch of fan art from the staff and also from fans and everything else was mostly themed towards the um, the book of the twilight or in this case dot hack archives volume three they reuse this pattern for a daily planner a phone case but there was also some other items for sale during that time such as a pen, some acrylic stands, a ton of albums, which I don't have any of those. So if I ever get those, you can be sure to count to see those someday on our channel. But anywho, so going back to Comic 83. Now this, this book is broken up by day and by location. This convention is, to say the least, very, very huge. Like, I don't think I can get this whole thing on map, on the video. That's part of the map. That's not all of the map. There are three maps in here, double-sided. That's map number three, the green one was map number one, and the white one is map number two. Once again, it's all double sided. So, anywho, so this catalog is broken up by day. You'll see some tabs right here day one, day two, day three. Day one, each day kind of had a theme. Like, day one is anime, novels, and mangas. So, let's start with that. So, there's day one. Anime, novels, and manga. There was some dot hack art in here.
I have no idea what the conditions are for these squares. Most of these squares are based off the boost location. So for example, this section here is based off of these boosts, all these boosts you see here. And right here on page 243, you can see there's either Kite or Shugo, the uh, Phantom from Guilty Dragon that looks like Kite, Tokyo, a bunch of chims with a silhouette of a person. I can't really tell who that is. Endurance wearing the VR goggles. Haseo. I believe that's supposed to be Azure Kite with a chim chim that looks like Ovon. Haseo. Haseo and Azure Kite. Fairly certain that's supposed to be Elk and not Rumor. But as you can see, there is some artwork here. Now, Comic Market 84, I was not able to find anything either CC2 or Dot Hack related. Uh, most of these kits were advertised on CC2's website and on their store. And there's a bunch of banners, links, and uh, shopping pages for these items. But uh, 97 did have CC2 mentioned. There's no dot hack art, not at least that I could find. Bear in mind, these catalogs are between 1,000 to 2,000 pages. So if you're going to find a needle in a haystack, you're going to be here for a while. So what I found here was this on page 1169, right up here, it looks like CC2 may have had a booth that advertises their Dot Hack Winter 2019 theme. Here we have the Dot Hack stuff, the Sola Toro Torobo, which was another series that they developed. They had, um, Links to those on their website for items that you could purchase. So, this video was requested by a fan. They wanted to know more about the comic market events and the items that were sold. And I don't have a complete collection. I did try to get some of the other comic market catalogs. And like I said, this is 83, 84, 97, but there was also 85 and 86. Comic Market 85 was Dot Hack Winter 2014. There they had a book, a keychain, and a round pog that was made of a cork material. Comic Market 86, also known as Dot Hack Summer 2014, had a book, a clear file, and some sticky notes. Now those I also don't have as much as all the stuff from Comic 97. Comic 97 by far had the most stuff. Uh, they even had parkas, t-shirts, a whole slew of stuff. And unfortunately, it's kind of hard to track down everything. But some of it is still available on the new CC2 International Store. The acrylic stands, the albums, uh, those you can still find on their website right now. So... Maybe someday when I have money, I'll collect those as well. Anyways, so, like I said, this is a requested video. I don't do requested videos for every single dot .hack item. Um, that's what dot .hack shorts is all about. Just 60 seconds of much information I can cram to tell you about this item right here, for example. So, if you want to learn more about this plush, some of the other plushes, check out our 
YouTube Shorts dot hack uh, short to see more information about individual items. So, like I said, if there's one item in particular you'd like to learn more about, I can do some requests in the if you put them in the comments or if you go to our Discord and go to our uh, suggestions page. I can do more in-depth looks at different items, but otherwise it's going to be by request. I'm going to continue doing doll hack shorts. 60 seconds is the target limit of individual items. So the Makota plush. Now doll hack had previously used the company, I believe it was called Great Eastern Entertainment for all their previous items. I don't know who has been doing all their current items. That information I can't seem to locate. But the uh, Makoto plush here was part of their first comic market uh, items. It doesn't have a tag. Unlike the Chim Chim plush, it does have four feet, two eyes, a mouth, a little chest logo, ears. Uh, basically, in the movie, Da Hack the Movie Beyond the World, this was an alarm clock, but also like an Alexa personal assistant unit. It was on Sora's desk. It would light up. It would communicate and talk. It would animate a little bit. And also when Sora downloaded Dahak, I'm sorry, The World, uh, she had this floating around her as well as a personal assistant in the uh, The World game. The eyes, just little black little buttons, nothing special. The stitching is silver, both on the pattern and the mouth looks like just two different cloths and whatever stiff fluff material that they insert inside. All the way around, I'd say it's about about 16 inches all the way around. Now the drinking cup just has a little plastic or silicone cork snaps into place. Now there's two different screws. This is to exchange the insert, but the main one on top with a little notice about drinking hazards, hot is hot type of deal. The bottom has like a felt material. Now the inside does have a screw so that's actually screwed to the bottom it's not screwed to the rim the rim just has this little seal right here I guess to prevent anything from getting to the paper and getting it wet so when I screw it back on I'm actually screwing it towards the bottom and then put whatever drink you want inside looks like there is a little air hole in the center here. I'm assuming the other end is right there. Basically to prevent any, um, like a vacuum effect when you're trying to suck the drink out from the top. So these are the replacement sleeve inserts.
All the sleeve inserts are not double-sided. They are just plain white on the back. So this first one here says, Welcome to the World. And it looks like it has Mia, Alcade, Aseo, someone in a bunny outfit. I can't tell if it's Black Rose or it's supposed to be Rana. We have Tabby, looks like Shino, Adelie, and a close-up, or it's all Shino. Don't believe that's supposed to be Adelie. I have no idea who's in the middle. That might be uh, Sakura from Die Hard Quantum as an adult. Looks like it's one of the um, Sophias from Die Hard Quantum. That looks like Black Rose. And Pi, and I'm assuming her offline self, Reiko. So if I wanted, unscrew this, take out the Haseo insert. Now the shape of this, it's curved on the bottom and top, and the sides are diagonal. And unfortunately, it looks like you do have to overlap and make it fit, and it won't fit edge to edge, so there is going to be some overlap. Flip the insert, find the bottom of the screw, there we go. Now I have this comic book like interior on my drinking cup. Check that out. Here we have Makoto. My cup looks like Makoto now. And it just says Makoto sound on the back. And then lastly, there's a black rose. So if you ever see this cup sold with an insert inside, uh, be sure to see if um, it comes with all the inserts. So you might see the cup sold with the black rose already inside, or you might see it with one of the other ones. It's the same cup, it's just someone's replaced the sleeve on the inside. So if you ever want a black rose cup, Officially made by CC2. There you go. Now, obviously, you can put whatever you want in here as long as you cut it to the shape and design. So, if you really want it, you could just see if someone's selling just a cup like this somewhere on the internet, and you can make your own. So, if you wanted to make your own, that's even doable. If someone's interested in that, I might be able to scan these and you can print them and make your own. But otherwise, the only place to find this, unfortunately, I've only seen it once on eBay. You're better off looking on either Mercari or Yahoo Auction Japan. Or even Rakuten. If you're interested in getting the official one. But yeah, you can make your own. If I get enough requests, I'll scan these in and you can just print one off yourself. Also, I wanted to note that the black rose and the Haseo that you see here is the same exact one that you see on the bag itself. It's the same Haseo on this side of the bag and then on the reverse side of the bag, it's the same black rose. bag did come with a cardboard insert. I'm assuming that's to prevent the bag from collapsing on itself. 
the other bags I have, I do not know if they came with the cardboard insert. So here we have Da Hack 2012 Comic Market 83 Special Edition Liberation of the Brain. I believe this reads from right to left. Now, I've noticed that there's a lot of lewd images going on, not only in this book, but also this uh, Tumblr insert. So I'll do my best to cover up anything indecent. Let me see, what can I use? Oh, guess I'll have to look at every page before I turn it. Anywho, so we have Contents, Die Hack, Sexy Illustrations Corner. I'm assuming these are the artists. And it says Sexy Illustrations Corner. So it looks like it's just more of the images that we already saw in the uh, Tumblr here. Black Rose. We have Psyka from the Hack Link. Dressed up in some kind of outfit, I'm not sure. Tabby from Dot Hack Roots. So it looks like that was uh, Sakia from Dot Hack Quantum, and we also have a Sophia's. more Sophia artwork, some pie with her offline counterpart, Waco, Black Rose and Arcade Upside Down, Asayo Shirtless, and a comic with Kite, Azure Kite, Aura, Piros, oh, looks like it was Adelie, it wasn't Shino after all. So that definitely looks like Black Rose. Sakura and Hermit. Oh, Sakia and Hermit, sorry. And it looks like some sketches before they decided what to use on the paper bag itself. Here on the left we have the Black Rose. And there on the right is the Haseo. Some illustration comments on Japanese. Tabby and Pie, and a column from Piroshi. And the, uh, all the credits. Down at the bottom, Comic Market 83 and the date. So, one request I will definitely never do, I will never scan pages. I mean, I'll scan the Tumblr images, but definitely not um, any books or publications. I will never scan any pages and put up on the internet, nor will I scan any music CDs or video games. I'll never make any disc images or ISO files and share those. Um, just because of copyright uh, reasons and intellectual properties. 
but um, you're more than welcome to watch these on the videos here. So that was Comic Market 83. The last thing I had here was the Kite earphone jack, which goes into any device that has a standard headphone jack set. Now I pretty much show this off in the dot hack shorts related to this, so I'm not going to open it again and show that. If you like to see that being plugged into a, um, a 3DS, you can watch the uh, short video. So back on Comic 83 again, we also have this CC2 Chan. So CC2 Chan, she is the embodiment of CC2 as a character, as seen first in this game here, Hyper Dimension Neptunia Victory. Basically, they have a bunch of personified characters from different companies. I don't think she's actually in this portion. Nope. So they needed a character for this game that represented the company CC2. So they made CC2 channel. Now just like the other book, there is a bunch of lewd images in this, so I'm going to do my best to skip those pages. So here we have the table of contents. So her design is supposed to be based off several other games. Her tattoos that you see on her body kind of similar to Black Rose. Her face tattoos are kind of like kites. Her hair, probably black rose, but blonde. She's wearing kind of like a, like the, the vest here kind of looks like kites. Maybe like Sakia's from um, Die Quantum. And she has a tail and ears. As you can see better over here, similar to some of other CC2's um, video games. But like I said, it was just all in a collaboration. So it says, Happy Birthday, Sexy Illustrations Corner. Looks like they have a uh, history of CyberConnect 2, all the way from its uh, foundation in 1996, leading up to 2012 here. So it looks like the different things that happened with the company and the games that they released during that time. Now this says 1998 and 1999 PlayStation. I would have to assume that would be Tail Concerto. And this would be Silent Bomber. 2002 was when Dot Hack was um, released in Japan. So this would probably be Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, a Naruto game, Volume 4, Naruto, 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 um, Dot Hack GU, Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, two more Naruto games, Dot Hack Trilogy, Naruto, Naruto. The Hack Link, Sola Torobo, Naruto, Naruto, Asura's Wrath, 
Naruto and the Versus Beyond the World uh, hybrid game and movie. So it looks like we have some early design concepts. Would have been an entirely different looking character right there. There's no animal features. And then they start getting it closer to what the final product was. Like she had thigh high um, shoes or stockings there. Here there's a belt on the leg. Here the hair is a little bit different. But it looks like they always had CC2. Uh, face tattoos was always, looks like to be in the intent. And the final product. As well as some weapons of choice. Here we have different outfits. These are available as DLC in the game. more artwork. This looks like a, a mock-up of the entrance to their building. So that is Comic Market 83. Comic Market 84, looking good's back, as always, is the infamous Chim Chim plush, the original. Again, they had some re-releases of these, but those the tax changed to the 15th anniversary logo. And then they also recently made some um, Chim Chims based off of other characters, such as Tsukasa, Kite, Haseo, and Tokyo. And then those chimp chimps had different colors, different patterns, and different expressions. But this is the one and only original. I have uh, taken pictures of this chimp chimp with this uh, measuring tape here. Throughout various parts of this doll. So everyone look at those pictures they're available online it looks like this one's about 16 and a half inches across um, those pictures show off all the seams and everything so if you're into crafting st stitching sewing and all that um, I get those photos a look and maybe you can make your own instead of having to uh, hunt down and find one of these uh, because they are very rare and uncommon not pricey I mean you could still find these if you ever do find them typically around $30, but just no one's really trying to sell these or get rid of them. So if you ever want to make your own custom chimp chimp, check out those photos I've took uh, way back, back before we even knew that there was going to be more chimp chimps uh, on the horizon. Looks like the stitching here, they have like a, not a purple, but almost like a pink stitching going on. But yeah, you can see all the seams right here. There's a big circle and oval on the bottom. Looks like there's one pattern here, one pattern here, one big pattern on the front, one on the bottom, and nothing on top. But this is where they all intersect and are cut down so that way you could flex, have the little horns or whatever. But obviously, there's supposed to be a, a sphere on top. And the little feet, looks like it's just two patterns, one on the front, one on the back. Some space in between. Uh, there's fluff in here. There's always a fluff on the inside. 
There you go. Now the muffler. Is Baumong, Black Rose, Kite, Mistral, and Orca. And it just says Dot Hackers on the edge here. 100% cotton. I already did a video on this, so if you want the dimensions, it's in the video on Dahak Shorts. The leaflet, and it just basically says thank you back in 2013. This umbrella is a pain. It's a pain to get this sleeve back on. This plastic, I'm not sure if it's mine or all of them, but I never use this, but this thing's pretty sticky. Like, it's almost like the plastic itself was almost, almost melting. Like I said, just on this one little section here has the logo that you see on the back itself. Which is almost the same logo that you see on the leaflet. Just a black and white and orange version there. Um, this kit, lucky bag did not come with a book besides the leaflet, but it also has this Chim Chim earphone jack. And once again, I'm not gonna open this disc because I already made a video on it. There's really not much to show other than it plugs into any earphone jack device you want. And to close it, there's a button right there. Push the button. Pull it in. And decide how you want to fold it. This is part of one of those pains I was talking about about this. This thing really needs to be really squeezed before it can go inside this little So there. So as I previously said, I actually don't have any content from the 19 or the 97 comic market set. I do have these buttons. Um, this is for the 15th anniversary 
Um, Kite, Black Rose, Haseo, Adderley, Psycho, Tokyo, and the mystery button. If you don't know what the mystery button was, it's actually Ovan. So, here's all the individual characters. Kite, Black Rose, Haseo, Adderley, Tokyo, Saika, and the secret Ovan. So, Dot Hack fan book. That's a, a term. Dot Hack fan book. It's an interesting term because they actually used this term fan book before, but not like this. This is a four volume set of art from the staff and art from the fans put together in these four volumes and you actually had your chance to have your content featured in this if you uh, applied during the time on Twitter and I believe there's a fifth volume that you only got if you submitted the stub from the previous four. Now this was actually donated to me by one of the community members. Uh, they happen to have two of these so they were generous enough to give me this copy here. That's why I only have one copy. But anywho, so we have special comics, special guest messages, CC2 staff messages, features, the Haseo figure arts, GU, GU birthday database. So if you want to know the birthdays of the Daha characters, this was one of the official books that actually had that. Um, the illustrations and messages and a couple other things here and there. But let's see here, page 56. So we'll come back to that page once we get to it. Some comics, special guests from the illustrations. Looks like that's supposed to be um, Sora from the movie. Ali, Kite and Black Rose, Hats Hill, Kite and Black Rose. And here we have the uh, messages from the staff. Oh no, this is the autographs from the staff, sorry. Well, that's interesting. It's a mention of the hack fragment on this page. I'll have to translate that later. So here's the Haseo figure arts. We have the black version and the white version. And both of these books came, or statues came with a book. And this book was translated by Fallons on Fallons.net. If you want to give those a read, um, actually one of those books was translated by Fallons. I believe it's this one. Um, the duplicate uh, phenomenon. If you want to learn about Sora, the character from Dahak Sign, and Sora's connection to Haseo from Dahak GU. Give that uh, translation a read. It's very interesting. Definitely check it out. But it confirms many uh, fan theories out there with uh, Ski finding his way from one person to the other. Now, when Dahak GU Last Rico came out, if you go to Mihoshi's Twitter page, back then there was a lot of very cool and interesting uh, photos uploaded, including like these miniature little weapons being made uh, based off of the weapons you see from Dahak GU, but also a lot of artwork. Uh, one of the cool ones is they show all the forms of Kite and all the forms of Haseo. Actually, here's some of those artworks right here. So these are Mihoshi's artwork. Going over Chim Chims, Assassin Chim Chim, Ida Chim Chim, 
Rare Chim Chim, King Chim Chim, God Chim Chim. Hasail being attacked by assassins. Hasail and Death Grunty. Um, I forget which Grunty that one is. There's Yada's Grunty. I believe that might be Gabby's Grunty. There's um, Moon Tree's Grunty. Oh, wait, nope. There's Gabby's Grunty. Never mind. I don't know who's Grunty that was. Taihaku's Grunty, Mecha Grunty, the Vital Vistas, or the NPCs from GU. Some more Vital Vistas. Steam Bikes, the Goblin Races, the Net Slums characters. Alrighty, here we go. Birthday Database. So, if you watch our social me uh, media pages, whether it's Twitter or Facebook, you might notice that when these days come around, we actually announce them. So you might see some character birthdays on occasion on our social media pages. Haseo, 2012, 713. Adelie, 20, uh, 2001, 4-5. Uh, Coons, 1993, 11-8. Sakubo, 2006, 526. Andrance or Elk, spoiler alert, 1996 on 1231. Yada or Wiseman, spoiler alert, 2078. Pi, also known as Reiko, but also played Ender from Dahak Roots and also played Shamrock from Dahak Quantum, spoiler alert, 1993, 1224. Ovan, 1992, 1212. Arcade, 2001 on 72. Syllabus, 1997 on 1028. Gaspard, 2004 on 421. And Piros, 1978 on 1123. So Piros being the oldest of the bunch. And obviously Sakubu, Sakubo being the youngest. And here is the staff artworks. Here we go. So all the fan books, pretty much kind of like this volume right here, just a bunch of things from the staff, things from the community, all published into a book. That's interesting. Dahak Volume 1 to Volume 4. It's a little, oh, it's the, uh, the kite novel. If you don't know what this... Dahak novel Kite is. It is Kite's perspective on the events of Dahak Volume 1 through 4, infection, mutation, outbreak, and quarantine, much like um, Black Rose's perspective was in Dahak Another Birth Volumes 1 through 4. This is Kite's version, and we learn a lot more about Kite than we previously had known, such as he has a sister, which was never really mentioned before. And there's a lot of um, new artwork also for the uh, chapters of the story. And the whole story is available on that link. cc2.co.japan slash hack underscore novel underscore kite. All the chapters are up. They're free to, to read, but unfortunately, as you see here, it's all in Japanese. It's also going to be in Japanese on the website. Um, until... I believe Dahak Translate has all the chapters translated. So if you want to read it in English, go to the um, the WordPress site, Dahak Translate. So there is Kite Sister. And yet he still doesn't have a name. Wise man. Kite and Magus. Magus, however you want to pronounce it. Alright, so from here on, this is all the community's artwork 
letters, notes. So right here, you're gonna see all the Twitter handles of everyone. And obviously, every volume, you're gonna have some more artwork. Here we go. So these are some of the items that were being sold during Comic 94. Now this right here looks a lot like the Archives Volume 3 cover here, but it's actually a daily planner for the year 2018. So that daily planner is not going to be really useful. Uh, here we have a phone foldable uh, cover. This box right here, if you don't know, inside of it is just this pin. Just like those little pins that you would see on someone's la lanyard. Those type of pins, metal. Uh, here we have some art books. Um, the different soundtracks by Leon. And here is the instructions on the Volume 5 fan book. You're supposed to retain some information on every book that you purchase and you would get the the fifth volume that was the only way to get the volume five you could buy volumes one through four and i believe you still can on the international site i don't know what the stock is right now but so that was the fan book again it wasn't an official um, comic market 97 exclusive but that was one of the items that was being sold at the time. So, so far we covered 83, 84, 97. Again, I apologize. I don't have anything on 85 and 86. Um, the other thing I didn't show was the, um, during this time, usually the dot hack stuff would have, or not dot hack, but CC2 stuff would have things in conjunction. So 83 had the, Haseo Lucky Bag, but it also had the CC2 Chan Lucky Bag, so that was sold as a, in conjunction during this time. 84 had this Lucky Bag, but it also had a, um, a clear file, another art book, and also a keychain with kites. Now, 97's um, duet was supposed to be GU, Last Recode stuff, and also solo... To Robo uh, items. So that was the conjunction being sold during that time. If you'd like to see more of these items individually or some newer items, uh, be sure to check out our YouTube shorts. They are 60 second videos. Uh, we upload one a day. So every day you always have something to look forward to. And we really appreciate it if you would like the videos, comment on the videos. If you have any questions about the items, we'll be happy to answer them in the comments below on each individual video. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And those videos are actually backed up over on Twitch, so you can see them there as well if you're not a YouTube person. So we make sure to keep that available on both uh, networks. Also, if you have a suggestion on a YouTube short that you would like to see of something that we haven't already aired, we already have 111 YouTube shorts. Uh, be sure to leave a suggestion on the comments or head to our Discord channel or any of our social media pages and say, hey, Die Hack Network, I'd like to see, you know, XYZ. Maybe you want to see a video on the archives. I mean, we could do a video on that to give information on when it came out and all that stuff. But yeah, be sure to leave a comment. We'll make a video as we go along. But if you were looking for one in particular ahead of time, we really don't have a schedule that much. We usually record uh, five, five to seven videos ahead of time. So if you start seeing like one item, you usually count on the next item being in relation to the last. But anyway, that's all I have. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. 
We really appreciate your feedback and we appreciate you taking the time to watch this stuff. And uh, hopefully we can provide you some more information or point in a direction to get more information or to purchase these items or to learn more about this series, really. This is all intended to help you. And um, when I grew up, I didn't have that option. There was little to no information and there kind of still isn't. And we hope to bridge that gap with all these videos that we create for you. Uh, thank you and have fun.